So my name is Lark Galloway Gilliam. I'm the Executive Director of Community Health Council. We're a nonprofit health advocacy organization and one of 40 REACH um, communities across the nation. We're situated in South Los Angeles, which has the highest rates of heart disease. So when we talk about um, this project, it really, while the focus is primarily on African Americans, it really is addressing the larger South Los Angeles area, a community that's just really plagued and struggling with heart disease and other kind of chronic illnesses. Our policy area is involved in trying to make it easier for people to get access to quality food and opportunities to be physically active. So REACH 2010 was an initiative that began in 1999 and it was an effort to look at health disparities across the country and to try to come up with strategies really within each of the communities that are struggling with health disparities to allow them the opportunity to find solutions. That evolved into REACH US, um, which was really, again, looking at a community-driven process in which communities then took some of the lessons learned and research that they developed under REACH 2010 and put it into action. CHC had visions of being innovative and creative and, and kind of approaching the problem from different perspectives. Rather than talking about it and saying we don't have grocery stores that have high quality of food and, and a, a large range of food, we don't have restaurants that are providing the foods we need, we acknowledged that but there was more action and activity connected with that which dealt with the entire problem so that it, it was something that could be changed and just not talked about. I moved to the neighborhood in 2009, and I've been lucky enough to live, I'm an LA native and been lucky enough to live all throughout the city, from the beach to the valley, to Hollywood, to the Hollywood Hills even, and we bought a home here, beautiful neighborhood. And uh, within a week of moving here, we realized that we uh, couldn't find what we could find anywhere else in the city. <laughs> in our own neighborhood. And we also noticed that in the market, not only could we not find, you know, fresh squeezed juices and, and organic fruits and vegetables, or at least sustainably grown, uh, there were two aisles filled with soda pop and sports drinks. Uh, there were no um, whole grain breads. And it's not, a, it's not, a, not an economics issue either. Everybody wants to eat healthy food. Everybody wants to eat wholesome food. And one day I was reading a local article written about uh, the fast food moratorium that was put in place here along the Crenshaw Corridor, and they mentioned community health councils. And I called them up, and they were very receptive about my, you know, about me having any questions, about having any inquiry, and they invited me to come along to visit during the um, uh, what is it, the Food Policy Roundtable. And so I came to a meeting and I guess I just sort of dived <laughs> first into it. And it's been, I'm so happy to have found them because I feel like uh, there are other people with the same concerns, other people with the same also passion about doing something for this beautiful community. So my vision is that South Los Angeles has a variety of restaurants, the kinds of food that maybe we grew up with, that's prepared in a different way, that keeps us healthy, uh, and that we don't have to go to other places like Culver City to get that. I think I'm most proud of the relationship and respect that we've been able to garner from the community. I'm most proud of the fact that there are hundreds of folks in the community now who are out there doing this without us even, that we have been able to build a network of organizations and community members who now see this as part of their passion for their community and, and work. And then of course, I'm, I would also then point to some of the policy successes from the restriction on the number of fast food restaurants that we have in our community to new efforts to provide better transportation in our community and to a greater awareness and commitment to open space. All of those, I think, are a result of our work on REACH. Um, 
but the fact that we've ignited this sort of movement is what people like to say. But I think it's sort of the, you know awakened that fire again in the community to, to, to take charge of their destiny. And I think that that's the, the legacy of our effort.